The year is 2018, and it's Halloween in Norway. Multi-millionaire Tom Hagen, who helped co-found the electric company Elkraft as, one day came home to an empty house and found his wife of 49 years to be missing. With only a ransom note in her place, with her kidnapper's demands, the demands being nearly $10 million worth of cryptocurrency that they wanted Tom to transfer over in order for his wife and Elizabeth to be returned safely. And if these demands were not met, she would be executed during some sort of live stream. Eventually, it would also be confirmed that on the letter that the kidnappers left, there would be a link that would lead to a document on pasted.co, which is a site among hackers that allows them to share plain text as a way to communicate. The link would then lead to a document labeled Anne. Now, Tom and Anne were childhood sweethearts, and they were soon approaching their 50th wedding anniversary in 2019. But unfortunately, this day wouldn't come. Tom and Anne have a long-lasting history of meeting back in the 60s and swiftly marrying each other at the age of 19. Now, initially, when Tom reported his wife missing in 2018 to the Norwegian police, it wasn't made public till weeks later, but due to fears of leaves drying up surrounding the case, the Norwegian police and the Hagen family saw that it was necessary to make the case public. This, in turn, would be a positive turn of events for the case. While, briefly at least, when the case was made public, hundreds of tips came pouring in about M. Police would also release footage of some suspects in the case to the public. The footage was of two men that seemed to be scoping out Tom's place of work and possibly his vehicle to make sure he wasn't home at the time. Around this point, when police are releasing information, Anne was missing for about 10 weeks. Family and friends were kept in the dark in hopes of not letting word spread about her kidnapping. Police also made public that the kidnappers were wanting their payment sent through the cryptocurrency, Monroe. This currency is allegedly preferred by cyber criminals and hackers because it is a privacy-focused currency and every user is anonymous by default. Monroe was released in 2014, and it is set up in a way that allows anyone to request or send money, while also blocking outsiders from seeing the amount, source, or location the money is being sent to. It should now be obvious as to why this currency is popular amongst criminals. Now, on January 16th, 2019, the Hayen family received a message via cryptocurrency and would continue receiving messages over the next week or so, authorities would believe that these messages were not actually from the kidnappers themselves, instead just criminals that caught wind of the ransom and wanted to try and collect for themselves. February 2019, the Hagen family is advised by authorities to not pay any ransom amount to the criminals unless they are able to confirm that these are in fact the kidnappers or that Anne is still alive. Suspicions of her murder being carried out were starting to arise. After countless dead ends and investigators coming up empty-handed, the investigation is then soon turned on to Tom Hagen himself. Police believed the letter was planted as a distraction to cover up the murder of Anne. While doing so, they also retract their statement about the two men seen on the security footage with little to no reasoning. Tom is now under investigation after these allegations have been made. Sven Holden, the family lawyer, goes on record of stating that he received an email from a dark web user regarding Anne Elizabeth and the demands of the kidnappers. Sven states that there does seem to be some similarity between how the email was written and how the ransom note was written, alongside some information only the kidnappers would know. Tom Hagen would then actually send almost 2 million euros to the crypto account. Eventually, some time does go by, but Tom doesn't receive any news of his wife returning. The case would get extremely cold 
over the next few months without any new leads or information coming forward to the authorities. Nevertheless, the investigation would continue, and with this, Tom Hagen would then be arrested on April 28th of 2020 for murder or conspiracy for murder of his wife, Anne Elizabeth. Speculation began to arise at the time, and with police not allowing all details to the public just yet, it is assumed that they came to the conclusion that Anne was murdered at home in her bathroom, which is based on the observation that multiple bathroom amenities were removed from the house and investigated further. With this investigation, authorities would find Anne's blood only incriminating Tom even further. This would lead police into thinking there was never a kidnapping in the first place. Instead, it is now a thought that it was a murder that had taken place and not a ransom. This mystery was finally starting to make some sort of sense. It would seem that the story that was to unfold was one that painted Tom Hagen as the multi-millionaire murderer of Norway. Rumors began to stem about Tom and his relationship with his wife. Divorce papers were actually found and signed by Anne, but not by Tom, growing even more suspicion of Tom as the cause for Anne's disappearance. More rumors of divorce actually stemmed from family member statements and from the search history on Anne's computer revolving around divorce. Meanwhile, Tom actually got with a new woman while Anne was reported missing. If any of this is true and not hearsay, then this is not a light Tom would want to be in. Now, divorce never really is in anyone's best interest. It really isn't in Tom's interest in this case. In 2016, Tom's personal notes were read by investigators, and the notes suggested that the marriage he had with Anne was slowly deteriorating and a divorce could be imminent. I said earlier that divorce isn't something Tom would want to go through, especially since he could potentially lose up to hundreds of millions of dollars in this settlement. This could possibly be all the more reason to make Anne disappear. Well, after just 11 days in custody, Tom would soon be released, and as of today, he still remains a suspect. Tom was released on such short notice due to the Court of Appeal finding the case non-acceptable and they argued that there really wasn't any hard evidence to keep Tom incarcerated. As of today, Tom denies all allegations, and there is still no trace of Anne Elizabeth. 